If you are really interested to learn Blender and want to create some amazing modern CG art then check out our course which is Modern CG Art. It's available now. The link will be in my video description. Thank you. So hey guys what's up NPS ready here and welcome back to another excited Blender tutorial. By the end of this tutorial you have your first VFX video. I will share all the secret to make a visual effects short. So max of the people who are watching this video right now. I am sure they are going to create their first visual effect shot. So I will guide you how you can easily do it without more hustle. We will go step by step. So if you stuck any time in future, you can come back on this video and it will help you. I will also share one of my pro tip which I mostly use in my all the visual effect shot. Don't skip this video. So let's get started with part one. How to shoot. Just grab your smartphone or your camera and find an empty place because I don't want to make you trouble in the beginning that's why just find an empty place and try to capture a footage with a slow movement don't move your camera or smartphone too much record a 10 to 20 second clip and that's it let's move to the part 2 which is how to track your footage tracking is very necessary whenever you are going to make a visual effect shot for a moving scene because this way we will extract the same camera motion inside 3d and the 3d camera motion allows you to correctly compose 3d elements over your 2d footage so this is the step which you have to take care of so we have two options either we can use blender itself to track our scene which is absolutely amazing but what's is the better than this we can use after effect because after effect has a effect which take few seconds to you know just track our scene so we will use after effects so let's jump inside after effect import your footage right click and interpret footage and make sure to check the frame rate and if required you can change it like in this case i have 30 fps which is good then just simply drag and drop your footage onto this icon and it will help us to create the exactly same resolution and also the frame rate so after this just by pressing ctrl s you can save this project file because we need it in further steps after that you can just simply go to the effect and preset and just search a 3d camera effect tracker effect and just apply this onto our footage and wait few seconds until the process has been completed and after that you will see some of the points stick on to our footage so just select few points and make it set ground plane and origin and this will help to decide where our floor is in 3d space after that select a few points again and create solid and camera you can select few more and do the same step and this way we have a 3d solid into our scene and also our 3d camera which we talked earlier to extract it from our clip so now if you want to see our motion and our camera is correct or not you can simply select any footage and apply a grid effect onto that footage and just preview it and now you can see so now we done the second step we are going to use blender to make our 3d stuff so we have to transfer this tracking data inside blender we will use a add-on called a to blend i will put the link in my video description so you can go and check this add-on it's an amazing tool so first open blender and delete all the steps by selecting and clicking on the delete button and go to the edit preferences add-on and here you can just simply click on the install menu and install your add-on i already installed in my pc so this is the interface of a to blend add-on so now we have to select our camera inside after effect press u to reveal the properties with shift or with control you can just copy and come back inside the blender and there is an option called create camera you just click on that button and it will create a 3d camera now you can see camera animation start from zero which we don't want so i can select pressing by pressing a i can select all the keyframe and just drag one step further so now it will start from frame one and go to the end and just change the frame output properties and here we can change the resolution and make sure to change the frame rate according to a need in this case this is 30 and after that you can just click on this camera button and it will 
show you the viewport through the camera and you can see there is a, a motion now we have to transfer this ground so i can select the ground and reveal the transform and just select the four parameters from the beginning and copy it and go inside the blender and click on this button called create plane and it will create a plane so this looks good and let's save your blender project now select your camera and let's load our footage here so that we have a proper visuals where our 3d scene will be how it will look etc so we'll select the camera go to the camera menu enable background images add image and movie clip and open click on the open and now just load your footage here and make the opacity 100% i mean one and make it fit and let's play it and now you can see the motion is not matching this is happening because our focal length inside blender is different from our original focal length which we use so we'll go back again inside after effect double tap on the camera and here you can see there is a focal length of 18.28 mm so we'll copy this and come here and paste it and now if i'll play you can see it's perfect So now there is a, a few issues about the orientation this is this is good but i want to make it more good orientation of our scenes so create a cube and place it on the plane first select plane and then press shift and select your camera transform and in the end select cube with shift or control and just control p and choose object and now if i will select our cube and if i will rotate scale you can see our 3d grid is also behaving according to this so this way we will you know just uh, make our 3d orientation perfect you can also scale your plane so now the second part is done complete so the part 3 is how to place your cg car or cg object so i am using sketchfab which is amazing platform which provide us a lot of amazing 3d models so i will find one 3d car model and i will download it i will put the link in my video description and by the way i will also share this project file on my patreon page so if you are interested you can just go there and download it and thanks to all the people who are supporting me there are there are a lots of projects file already available and there is a bunch of more benefits which you can get so after downloading just extract it and go to the file import and be careful so whenever you download any 3d model there are a lot of 3d formats just like fbx obj so you have you must have to choose the correct one which your model has so in this case our model has gltf so we'll just click on gltf click on the import now just wait don't touch anywhere and just press m and it will help us to create a separate collection with the selected object so just click on the new collection and just rename it to car and so now our car is transferred into the car collection so now we can easily select it by right click and select objects and it will select everything and we can scale it by pressing s and i can press r z to rotate it into z direction and we can also select it and press R Y to rotate and make it perfectly above the plane and that's it let's play and check if it's working or not this is a amazing feel feeling whenever you track your scene correctly and if you place anything it will look amazing so in vfx tracking is everything because if you have a bad track it will not look good doesn't matter if you have a good model good lighting good texturing so adjust the size location and once you think it's done let's move to the lighting part and for the lighting what i did here is a pro tip guys you can also use a hdri which help us to light up our 3d scene with 360 degrees so we shoot this clip so whenever you shoot your clip you must have to capture a 360 environment of that place that will help us to blend more realistically you can use a google street view i think this is a application for android application and i hope it is also available for iphone so you can use that application to capture a 360 i use google camera so you can see on the screen we captured a 360 environment so just click on this icon and it will this is a rendered view and i will go to the render mode and i will change the render engine from ev to cycle because cycle is the real path tracing render which need to render our scene realistically 
which bounce our light realistically so we'll choose the cycles and we'll choose the device from cpu to gpu so first down the sample viewport sample to 32 and click here and go to the shader editor go to the environment tab and here i will load a environment click on the color and choose environment texture and click on the open and load our 360 environment and now you can see instantly it's looking like it's placed on the same location we'll make it more good change this object to world and here i can select it and press ctrl t and it will only work if you have enabled node wrangler into add-on so and you can rotate the g direction to find a perfect frame where your car is and just leave the environment there this is a 360 environment but we want to see our footage so we'll go to the render mode and go to the film and enable transparent and now this is our footage and now i want to composite this into our footage so we must have to disable our plane but we want to catch our ambient occlusion and shadow so we'll select the plane go to the object properties and go to the visibility and enable shadow catcher and it will only work i think in cycles so make sure you enable cycles i hope you are enjoying this tutorial and please hit the like button if you are really enjoying this let's move on guys let's select our car model and just change the color from this color to black and you can also play with the roughness and metallic because i want to make our car look metallic so i will increase the metallic value and i will down the roughness it will make our reflection sharp not blurry and if you want you can also play even more and in the end i will also share one more trick to make it even more good and same thing i will do with other part just like the car wheels alloy rings just make them more glossy and just check it hope it's looking good yeah this looks really good so this is a pro tip which i'm going to share now so listen carefully so now let's select our ground plane and create a new material for that and just import our footage and plug it as a base color for that increase the frame and uh, enable cycle and auto refresh i am doing this because i want to make the same reflection same color which is available onto our real ground which is there so that way our cz catch same light bounce which our actual footage has i hope it makes sense guys let's control t and here you can see there is a texture coordinate just change it from uv to the window and that will help us to you know just basically whenever camera moves to a different frame it will take a different frame and it will project it there so it will update always just like our video so it will not it will look good basically if i will use our ground plane only white and i will make the shadow catcher enable shadow catcher so it will catch the shadow and ambient occlusion but it will not cast the, cast the same light bounce and it will not cast the same color onto our footage which is very necessary to make things more real. So I hope this pro tip will help you guys. So before moving to the rendering part I have few things which I adjusted after the tutorial which I am going to include into this part. So for making it more good or here is some of my more tips which will help you a lot so you can select your car model or car paint material just like you just need to select it and this material are the same and here if you will see this is the default one which does not look good but if you down the roughness it will look good also but what i did i just simply downloaded a texture control shift and click here you can see this is a surface imperfection texture which has some you know some cracks or some lines you can see some dirt and all and with the color ramp i can you know just make it like i can cross it and make it look good whatever i want and just parent this into a roughness and it will help us to get more realism like here you can see which we commonly see into our real life footage and also with the tire what i did i simply here you can see use a downloaded a dirt texture online and i mix with a black color here you can see with a black color and with the factor with noise so some part will be a dirt texture and some part will have a black and with the mix and i plug this into the base color 
So this is the two things and in the last you can go to the ob world and here I also added a gamma. So by default it's one but if in your case you want to do few things else just like I'll come back here. If I want to make it two, so let's make it two and you can see this is changing environment gamma actually. So it is very uh, you know just beneficial in some cases if you want. So you can definitely try it. So this is it. Let's move on to the next part. So this is part five how to render. So for rendering go inside the render settings and change the render resolution to 256 because 256 is more than enough if you want more you can just increase it just go to the output you can also change the frame range from start to end if required and go to the output and decide a location where you want to export it and you can also change the file format so here I'm going to use PNG because I hope you are making your first visual effects short. So I don't want to complex this process, but there is a, another way to export these things with more freedom. But this is very good if you are trying first time. So make sure to choose PNG. And if you want, you can just down the compression and change the color depth from 8 to 16. But I'm going to render with these default settings. Just go, go to the render and you can render animation and it will take some time to render out your entire sequence as a PNG. Once you're done, just open your same after effect composition which we tracked earlier and press double tap or simply right click import file and import your sequence by selecting the first frame and make sure PNG sequence is enabled and click on the import button and it will import it. Go to the interpret footage and main and recheck if the frame rate is exactly the same and just drag and drop into our comp and now you can see we don't have to do anything and this is looking absolutely amazing but we'll do some minor tweak to make it even more like our CZ shot always sharper than our actual footage so we will use a fast box blur effect and make the blur radius to 1 and iteration to 1 and use a sharpen effect to make it sharp you don't have to use sharpen in your footage because I am using because in my footage my camera has a little bit of issues which he always try to make our footage more crisp or sharp I think so so that's why I'm going to use a sharpen and I will increase the effect until I will satisfy. It's not a huge uh, thing but it will make a subtle difference and this will make your shot looks even more good. I will increase the sharpening amount even more. And once you think it's looking good just you can also add a curse effect to play a little bit more. This is the final result. I hope you really enjoy it and once this is complete you can come back inside blender again save your save as your footage with a new name and we can import a new model just like a car a sport car or a bike and we can render it and everything is same so we don't have to change anything we just have to take care of texturing and that's it. So I hope you really enjoy this video and I hope now you can easily create your first visual effect shot which is absolutely amazing and please whenever you do whenever you make something tag me on Instagram using as the rate or hashtag NPS3D. I will love to watch your result and, and if I like it I will definitely share it with our community. Thank you so so much for watching this tutorial and I hope it is informative. So this is it for now guys. Peace. I will see you next time. Bye bye.